All right, guys, it's Jerningham here. I've gelled my hair differently. As you can see, it's gone to the side now. It was different before. People have been told in the UK not to stockpile tort rolls, not to stockpile food. But obviously they're saying the messages, pardon me, I'm not going through to people. They're just not listening, apparently. But anyway, we're going to play the video, and you guys can decide for yourself what you think about it, if you agree, if you don't agree, or you think it's clever to stockpile food, or you don't think it's clever. Everybody's different. Or is the government just overthinking things and not understanding what we're doing to stockpiling things just in case of emergencies and supplies and run out and we need food? But this will make the food even go down even more in the supplies and medicines. And it's ridiculous. Anyway, I've got to play the video. Give me one second. I just need to do something in a minute. I'm in a party chat at the minute as well. So I've got friends in their party chat. When I'm doing, the, when I'm kind of doing a video, I don't want people disturbing me sort of thing. So I told them I'll be back in a few minutes while I sort this video out. So I'm going to try and think. Oh, come on. You know, it's always slow in the PlayStation 4. Always slow. Come on. I do get very annoyed when things are just slow all the time. But we're going to be talking about stockpiling in a minute when this bloody PlayStation decides to work. So what I mean, it's just frozen on the screen. No, it's taking me back to the YouTube. If you guys can see that, it's taking me back to the YouTube. When I was just in the party chat. Come on, and now it's crashed. Great. When I try and explain something, the PlayStation has come up with a silly error occurred again. See, look. So I've got to report the problem. I'm trying to do the video talking about stockpiling in the UK, but the PlayStation didn't seem to want to work properly. It must be stupid. But we will get there eventually, guys. I'm sorry it's taking so long. Fuck off. I'm trying to type in the thing that's broken. and it's... I'll show you guys what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to type in here the fault of the PlayStation as well while I'm trying to talk about stockpiling the food in the UK. Problem. I was going to do that, but the PlayStation wanted to play up and do this silly sort of stuff. I'm trying to type in something, but it keeps, the bloody th thing keeps bloody moving. Just a second, guys. I'm going to get angry. There we go. One day we'll get there. Hopefully, unless that bloody thing's gone off. Oh, it's like, and but I'm hoping that YouTube that thing's there because I need to film that thing. Right, right. I bet it's. I bet I've lost that channel now. Right, there we go. It's still here. That's good. Anyway. Let's film the video and, and understand the video. So this is in the UK. For days, shoppers have been urged not to stockpile. But it seems like these filmed this morning are anything to go by. The message isn't getting through. Items like toilet roll, hand sanitizer and pasta are now increasingly hard to come by as coronavirus linked panic buying continues. As you can see here, people are stockpiling and they've been told not to and they just don't listen. I've done tins and toilet roll and I've done pasta and non-perishables and I have filled the freezer. Hand sanitizers, toilet roll. about hand sanitizers and toilet rolls? Things like that. As soon as you see... Um, people buying more than they, they need to, you start thinking, will, will, will there be enough for me? And when you're in the shops yourself, you can see that people are panicking, so you're starting to panic as well. It's more of a follow the crowd sort of thing. To control shortages, some supermarkets have already introduced limits on the numbers of specific items that can be bought. 
and today in a bid to both reassure the public and to encourage research, look at that that is just disgraceful hardly any food left because everybody else wants to take it all they won't share for anybody else customers they said we need your help there is enough for everyone if we all work together major food retailers coming together in this way is unusual it shows that they're trying to send a clear message to their customers to be considerate of each other when it comes to buying particularly when the most vulnerable in society might not be able to find the items that they need this is really an unprecedented challenge for the country i mean it's a generational issue so we do understand the concerns but i think what we're hoping for now particularly as people see their shelves being restocked regularly is that people understand the food and the other products do come through the supply chain so we're just back acting really for a little bit of caution supermarkets say they are working round the clock to fill their shelves they're asking us to be more considerate when we fill our trolleys jessica savage itv news well, that's ridiculous why can't they just say some for the people why take all the the food shortages well i won't say food shortages why don't you share the food for the people and branch it out so other people can have the food as well, but just, just people that are having it, if that makes any sense. Anyway, that's just another short video. Hope you've all enjoyed it. I'm sorry it took so long to do this video because my PlayStation crashed and I had to do with some other things during the time being before it loaded up again and we talked about the food shortages in the UK, especially the co-op in the UK is having problems with food at the minute. There's hardly any toilet rolls in there. You have to use bloody tissues. You have to blow in your nose for toilet rolls if you guys and girls want to use them sort of things. At least you've got something there. Anyway, give me a like, give me a comment, thank you for sh and uh, share these videos with your friends, and I shall catch you guys in the next video. Peace, and back hit that notification bell. You know, better go. Peace.